Do you have a lender's inspection coming up at one of your properties? Want to know how to prepare? Hi, I'm Eric Lazama, asset manager for the Rosa Group. We recently had a lender visit one of our properties for an inspection. What's the purpose of these inspections? It's mainly to ensure the safety of the property and its residents. They may look for things such as your rent roll that you would print out for them, deferred maintenance that they want to go over, any current renovations, looking at progress on that, HVAC systems, roofing, the list goes on. Now, let me share with you how we prepared. Step one, there's a saying I learned in the military and it applies to this same situation, which is study the professor, not the test. What does that mean? Know who your inspector will be and have a dialogue with them before the visit. Every inspector is different and every property is different. Find out exactly what they'll be looking for throughout the property and what documents they'll need upon their arrival. If there was deferred maintenance identified by the lender from a previous visit, make sure to walk them to that area and show them that the work was completed. If they require some type of compliance document, such as photos of completion or paid invoices, then have that printed out and ready to show them if you haven't already emailed it to them prior to the visit. Knowing your lender and what makes them tick helps smooth out the conversation you have with them and puts them in a better mood when conducting their inspection. Now, step two, this is when you bring your team in to start preparing for the inspection. Remember, there's no I in team. Just because you're the asset manager doesn't mean you're the only one who can or should be preparing for this inspection. The size of your property will determine who you pull in to prepare for this inspection. So for me, I pulled in both my regional manager and community manager. I had the list of items I knew our lender wanted to visit while on property, as well as the documents the lender wanted upon their arrival. I went through that list line by line with my team two weeks prior to the inspection. Now caveat, your inspector will usually dictate how soon and on what day the inspection will be, but there's always room for negotiation. For every line item, we discussed in detail the status of that item. If it was deferred maintenance that has already been completed, then I made sure to email all compliance documents to the lender a week before the inspection. If the deferred maintenance was still ongoing, I got the most updated status to include when we expected it to be complete. Once I had the most updated statuses of each line item, I then assigned areas of responsibility within my team. For example, if the lender wanted to visually inspect a deferred maintenance item that was in an occupied unit, I made sure that the community manager notified that resident the week prior. Or if there was deferred maintenance without a current bid from a vendor, I had the community manager get those bids so we can present it to the lender showing progress towards completion. Another task assigned to the community manager was to walk every unit identified to be inspected and ensure proper door access along with verifying statuses of each unit. There's nothing worse than walking to a unit with your lender or your team and trying to open a door with a key that was replaced weeks ago by your maintenance team. Ask me how I know. Now, step three. Conduct a pre-inspection of the property the day before with your team. Here's another saying for you. You can't expect what you don't inspect. For me, I had my regional and community manager walk me through the property and focused on what we plan to show the lender. This approach gave my on-site team an entire day to clean up or fix any issues that either wasn't caught earlier or maybe just wasn't to our standard. When we walked the property, we also map out the most efficient route to take with the lender. Inspections aren't fun, so if it can be as efficient as possible, the better for everybody, right? You don't want to backtrack because you forgot to show them a specific area of the property. Remember, many surprises can come up like a broken water line or the HVAC that just decided to quit. You have to be as ready as you can be, hence the importance of a pre-inspection with your team. And that brings me to my last step, step number four. The day of the inspection, walk the property one last time before the lender arrives. 
I personally locked it by myself, which gave me time to process everything as well as respecting everyone else's time, right? Everyone's busy. Have any keys required in some orderly manner so you're not wasting time fumbling through 50 sets of keys as you enter each unit. The last thing you want to do is stand in front of a door for five minutes going through 10 keys to see which key opens the door. Have all printed documents that the lender A requires and B would like to see. Have it laid out in a professional manner so as they come into your leasing office office or whatever room you bring them to, everything is laid out in a professional manner in an orderly fashion that you can then walk them step by step. Additionally, have a plan on how you will show your lender around from start to finish. This plan should incorporate what they want to see, but having an orderly plan and taking charge of the situation shows to your lender that you're the right team to manage that property. Now, this last bit of advice might be small, but it goes a long way. As soon as your lender arrives, meet them at the parking lot and greet them with a big smile. Show them that you're both on the same team and that both parties want to see the exact same results. Remember, first impressions last forever. So be sure to set the tone immediately upon their arrival. Well, I hope this helps you feel more prepared for your next lender's inspection. If you want to learn more about asset management, check out our Accelerator program. The link is in the description below. This is Eric Lozano, signing off.